Hey, it's the Wednesday shout out. Sitting out here on the back deck, and beginning ready to enjoy a beautiful fall evening. I love September. Here we are, mid September. Can you believe it's mid September? The leaves are beginning to turn up here in the high country. I just love these fall evenings. It's kind of cool, yet it's warm enough to still be able to sit outside and enjoy your dinner. So I hope you're getting ready to do the same. But for the shout out, I want to ask you what's your trigger? What is it that wakes you up to the Spirit of God, to the presence of God? See, I think that we live uh, spiritually asleep most of our lives, and we, we forget to realize how God completely surrounds us. And so my challenge to you is to wake up. That's my sermon series uh, for September, is to wake up to the Spirit of God, to awaken. And this past Sunday, I talked about Jacob and Jacob's ladder, and how Jacob was asleep to God's presence until he had that dream of the angels ascending and descending upon him. And he woke up and he said, surely God is in this place, and I didn't even know know it. I thought to myself, I love that line. Surely God is in this place and I didn't even know it. So we need to wake up to realizing that God is in our place even when we don't know it. But the key is to have a trigger, something that triggers us to God's presence. For Jacob, it was a dream. What is it for you? You know, for me, it's my wife, Phoebe, and my kids. They, I love my wife. I love my wife. I love my family. I love my kids. They wake me up to the presence of God. But I also love being out in nature. I love to hike. I love to fish. I love to uh, take an evening stroll, watch the sunset. I like to ride horses. I like to split wood. I like to stack hay. I like to do anything outside because it wakes me up to the presence of God. It's my trigger that says, oh, God is here. God is alive. God is with us. But what is it for you? Maybe, you know, it's a reading. Maybe it's a movie. Maybe it's being with a lot of friends at a sporting event. Uh, maybe it's being with friends eating a fine dinner or drinking a good uh, wine or a cold beer. But it's got to be something that triggers you, that wakes you up to the presence of God. Because you see, when you wake up to the presence of God, what you begin to realize is that your life is sacred. All of your life is sacred. So I want you to do that. I want you to wake up to the presence of God. Have a great Wednesday night. We'll see you. Bye.